and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, January 29th, 2019. Remember quickly, trading stocks has a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Always for your further homework. Good morning, Sue here. Hope you've had a good week so far. Before I get into today's video, I just wanted to apologize. In my Caterpillar video last week, I indicated that earnings were um, last week. I actually rely on um, other providers and they had indicated that it would be last week. So that was in my notes and it turned out to be Monday. So I apologize for that, but it's always a good idea to double check and that's why I always say, do your own homework at the beginning of every video. But anyway, with that behind us, let's get into today's. If you know me, you know I always start my videos off with a look at the Russell Index. I use the Russell as my simple guide for the markets overall. Um, I want to keep my processes simple and I deem the Russell to be the most rate sensitive of the indexes, so that's the one that I go with. I also like to step back and take a look at things on a bigger time frame. So we're looking at the five-year monthly for the Russell Index, or the IWM, which is the ETF for the Russell 2000. And uh, these are big monthly candles. This blue line down here is long-term support resistance. It goes back a very long way. The purple one is the one I'm using as my guide. It's more shorter term. And so you can see in this five-year chart that we had this beautiful run-up and then that dramatic sell-off uh, that culminated in December right at our purple line and look we've had this bounce in the month of January so so far we're getting a pretty big white bullish candle for the month of January um, so let's take a look at it on a five uh, one year weekly I should also say that the only indicator I have on my chart is this blue line which is the eight day EMA I use that as my guide when price on the Russell is up and over the eight day Ideally, I want it on the daily, weekly, and monthly. I am um, I'm deeming the market to be in an uptrend, but as you can see, we only have it uh, up and over that eight day on the weekly and the daily. Let's just go back to the monthly to show you what I mean. So we had, we need to see this. I want to see price up and over my eight day, just like it was here. So I'm not going to say that the market's in an uptrend when I check my boxes until I see that lift and the eight-day engulf my monthly candle. I hope that's clear. Um, so let's go back to that one year weekly. So we do have it on the daily and the weekly, but as you can see, it's coming into an area that might offer some resistance. So I'm going to be extra careful in this area. But having said that, should the markets continue to show strength, there is a chart that I wanted to flag for you today. So that's the weekly look, as you can see, up and over my eight day, and let's go with the daily, up and over my eight day on the daily. Futures look to be kind of mixed, uh, a little soft on the Russell, but the other indexes look to be strong, so we'll see what the day brings. And the chart that I wanted to flag for you this morning is Cincinnati Financial Corporation, ticker symbol CINF, trades on the NASDAQ exchange. For those of you not familiar with this company, they are in the insurance casualty property space. They've been in business for a very long time and uh, they operate in commercial lines of property, casualty insurance, life insurance, that sort of thing. You can tuck into it a little more if you'd wish. And you know me at Chart of the Day Cafe. I'm all about the scores underneath my chart and I can tell you that Cincinnati Financial has a nice value score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 20%, a current PE of 23.30, and a dividend yield of 2.68%. So with that, let's get back into the chart. We're looking at the five-year monthly chart. Again, it's a bear chart with just my eight-day EMA, but what I like about this chart is the consolidation that I saw all through the second half of 16, 17, 18, and then we had this thrust higher and we are now in this area where if I blow this chart up to a 20 year monthly, I call this sky is blue. There's no overhead resistance. So we're into new bullish territory. It's all about what the markets want to do overall, but I just wanted to explain how I look at things and that no overhead resistance is always a good thing. 
So we're looking at the monthly. You can see the volume starting to come in here as it goes up and over this prior area of uh, resistance, now support. Um, and so love the look of this chart on the monthly. Let's go take a look at it on a one-year weekly. And I like this formation here. So it's up and over my blue. We had a nice strong bar several weeks ago. And we have a little bit of a, a doji setting up here. But in a continued strong market environment with the profile of the long-term chart, this looks poised to move higher. So let's move it away from the weekly to the daily. And as you can see, price is up and over my eight-day EMA on the daily chart. So with some follow through today, I'm going to put a little green circle in, and maybe not today, maybe in the next few days, but I like the way this chart is setting up in this area, the scores underneath it, and uh, the really nice formation I see here on the daily. So liking CIMF in this area here. Along with the chart I'm looking at, I also like to take a look at the sector that it's in, and for that we're looking at KIE, which is the ETF for the insurance space. Five-year monthly chart, uptrending. Like everything else, it sold off uh, through December, but we have a strong January, nice bullish candle. We'll see if it can lift into this area and resume that uptrend, but I overall I like the look of this chart. As well, I like to uh, check seasonality for my watch list pick and for that I go over to equityclock.com a really fantastic site and as you can see Cincinnati Financial comes into seasonal favor right about this time of year no guarantee that happens again this year but always a good data point to know as well I like to spin over to Finviz to see if I've got um, analyst support for my watch list pick and as you can see pretty positive it's a pretty conservative company so um, pretty positive analyst opinion of this stock and some really positive articles. I will in uh, include this one with today's video, five insurance uh, stocks set to keep the winning streak alive in 2016. This is from Zacks. And so to quickly recap, I started today's video with a look at the Russell Index and we note that we've had a strong month of January. So, so far we have a bullish candle. I'm not checking this box right here because as I said in my video, I want to see the market take the monthly candle as well. So uh, not to me, in my mind anyway, not in an uptrend until it does that, but it is showing that price strength on the daily and weekly chart. We looked at the five-year chart for CINF and we noted that it's in an uptrend. It consolidated for a while. Um, and it's in an area of possible price strength continuation. We looked at the five-year chart for the sector that it's in, and we note that it has a bullish candle so far for the month, and that uh, sector chart to me looks pretty good. Uh, Cincinnati Financial has a good value score, a good growth score with a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 20%, current dividend yield of 2.68%. It does have, I look for a three and eight EMA daily cross. It does have it already, but it's kind of in a squeeze area. I want to see um, I want to see it spring out of this area and continue the uptrend. If you take a look at the chart, you'll know what I mean. It's got seasonality in its favor. We look, looked at the seasonal chart. We talked about sky is blue, no overhead resistance. It's got analyst support, a current PE of 23.30, and it looks as though earnings are on February 6th, but you want to double check that because I'm using the same provider. Um, always a good idea to double check that data. Thank you for watching today's video. As a reminder, these videos go out every Tuesday and Thursday morning. Have a great rest of the week.